Hey guys, uh, so it's really cool hearing about y'all's week. Um, I, I, Becca, you were talking about Spanglish was really cool. I didn't, I never really thought about that subject a lot, and now I have this kind of working definition going for it. And Alex was cool to hear about flag football. Sorry again, sick. Um, and Ellen, you t taught me about chief keep sort of. So thank you, I think. And Dakota, your silence and lack of presence was the most enlightening, I think. So good on you. Uh, today, I kind of, I just want to talk about my college, my college experience, my relationship with my college, um, and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, sort of an assessment, not really, um, not very comprehensive, whatever. Uh, so I go to Bradley University, <clears throat> and. Uh, First thing about Bradley I've noticed. Now I'm not super connected to the various cultures that make up Bradley. Um, I'm, I'm kind of introverted and I have a very small group of friends and I, I'm not very active in ver a lot of groups. So I can't, like I said, I can't speak for all the whole, the entirety of the college. But it seems much less self-congratulatory than Peyton. I felt Peyton, there was always a sort of reinforcement of self and entitlement to an extent, and of intellectual superiority, which was, oh, I always thought was a bit weird, maybe earned, I mean, Payne was kind of a tricky high school, but I don't know, I always thought it was weird, that culture. Um, it also is, uh, I think, less liberal than Payne, Payne, I can say. Uh, I mean, Payne was really liberal, so I don't know how much that is actually saying. Uh, but it def definitely feels a bit more conservative, conservative, which is to be expected. I mean, this is uh, this school is populated by mainly people from Illinois, from small towns around Illinois. Although I think the ta the city itself, Peoria, is vaguely liberal. Um, so it, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> Bradley is a university, and as a university, I mean, it's made up of a whole bunch of colleges. I go to the College of Liberal Arts, and I have to say that Bradley's liberal arts college is very apologetic. Um, like, it doesn't really stand firm in its, like, belief in the the values of the humanities. Not that it doesn't, like, you know, support them or cheer them on, but usually in my classes that are based around humanities, you know, English, literature, or, um, you know, this base, the broad sciences or, or social s studies and whatnot, and they try to connect themselves somehow to how you can apply this to your working life. In fact, generally, a lot of Bradley seems geared at prepping you towards it life after college, about getting you in some type of employment, uh, which is kind of cool. I mean, it it's it's a bit weird for me because I'm always been kind of about learning for its own sake, and I always thought there was value in that, and this one kind of always gears learning towards getting a job. But, you know, maybe I need that kind of counter, that more, I guess, grounded counter to my idealism. Um, so, yeah, Bradley's really small, too, like, really small. It's like, it can take, like, 20 minutes to walk the whole thing, and that's nice. Um, Peoria's kind of empty, which is not as cool. Uh, I only really venture into the city every once in a while. And, uh, yeah, that's just all I wanted to say. Uh, if you guys want to tell me about your colleges, that'd be cool. Dakota, I mean, you can tell me about your experiences with Bradley and whatnot. And Ellen, I'm, and I don't even, Ellen, I really don't actually know what college you go to, other than it, it's in the South, I think. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.